I have failed on this one. You don't need as much as you think. I promise. It's kind of crazy. The kinds of things. Your kitchen is the hearth of your home. So if it's cluttered, if it's messy, that is gonna linger throughout your entire home. So today I'm gonna give you 10 simple, easy, practical things that you can declutter to minimize that stress and minimize that excess so that you can create a warm and inviting kitchen. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'm also gonna share with you a few things you can add to your space to make it a more peaceful, calming, and welcoming spot. I mean, if you're here, that's really what you're looking for, right? Number one, spatulas. You only need one. You can survive perfectly with one. And it's actually not even surviving, it's thriving. Because when you only have one of something, you know exactly where it is at all times. You're not rummaging through your drawers looking for that one spatula that works with this thing. You're not looking in your sink or in your dishwasher. You know exactly where that one spatula is at all times. And it makes your life so much easier. This is her. Honestly, I don't even know where I got this. Maybe wedding registry, perhaps. But this is the only one I have. It's not even as big as the normal ones, but I found that it works great. And you just learn how to use it for everything. So it really will simplify your drawers, maybe even your countertops, and just having faith in yourself, knowing that you only need one. You're not gonna miss out on anything, with just one spatula. It's the easiest place to start. Start there. Number two is excess pots and pans. And I put this one at the beginning because of the amount of homes I walk into. Not in a judgmental way, I promise, but just in a, hmm, their life could really be easier if they had less of these type of way. <laughs> I see cabinets and cabinets full of pots and pans. They maybe only need five of them. Okay, so let me show you what I've got and then I'll explain why I chose these and why you really only need these. I'm a huge cook, by the way. I cook every single meal at home, so keep that in mind. I have the caraway set. I also have a big stainless steel soup pot and I make this for broth. I promise you I'm using this once or twice a week. And then I also have this stainless steel pan in the back, which is specifically for my husband or maybe for nights where we're, we're wanting a crispier meat. We use that pan instead of messing up or scratching our caraway pans. And if I may explain how I have challenged myself to use less, I was kind of forced into it. My husband used to play baseball, so we would have to pack all of our things for eight months in one car. And so for this reason, I would pack as minimally as possible because it's all that would fit. I ended up bringing a soup pot and two skillets, and that's all I needed. We have this strange misconception that there is comfort behind having more and it makes life easier when actually it makes life harder because we're constantly cleaning, we're constantly trying to create space and instead we could be figuring out how to actually make things work and being creative. I think there's so much beauty in that aspect of homemaking. So pots and pans, you don't need as much. Chef's knives, so actually cutting knives that you're using in the kitchen, you only need one, maybe two, if you cook every single meal at home. I don't, I don't know why you would need two, but I only have one. And honestly, this is a substitute for mine. <laughs> it's a cheap little one, maybe from Target or something like that. I left my other one at the church potluck and I haven't figured out how to bring up, hey, I left my knife here. So I'm gonna go looking for it next week. But you really only need one knife. And I know this because I've lived eight months just by using one knife. I cut apples, avocados, meats, carrots, potatoes, butternut squash with my one sharp knife. Life is so simplified, it takes up less space. And I will be honest, I have a bread knife, but this is like not a chef's knife. It's for my sourdough bread that I actually need. I've tried it without. And that just stays in the side, but Simplify, trust yourself. Like you can do so many things with less and it's actually nicer that way. Food storage, the nemesis of most kitchens. I 
have a solution for you. It's actually very easy. First of all, I always recommend glass because plastic leaches into the food and it's a very strong toxin that messes with the brain. So glass, but also whenever you are storing them, make sure that you store them with the lids on. You may say, but that takes up so much space. Well, if you have a simple kitchen, it's really not that big of a problem, is it? Let me show you underneath my appliance cabinet. This stuff also fits in there. This is where I put all of my baking dishes, appliances like the crock pot, which is actually out right now, ice cream maker, blender, handheld mixer, and also my Tupperware. So I have two in here already, if you can't see them. They're connected already, and they just fit perfectly right in here. Next ones, these two add right here. I would probably have five more, and all of them are in use. That's how much I prep food, and that just, that just works for my phase of motherhood right now. So I have no issue with Tupperware. And please just declutter the lids that don't have a bottom or the bottoms that don't have a lid. You will never really end up using them. That was my case. I mean, if you wanna put foil or plastic wrap instead of decluttering it, that's fine. But if you drop it off at a thrift store, people who are in need will use them instead of them just existing underneath here in case. That is something you have full permission to not have any fear about, just get rid of them. Way less stress also. Number five, you gotta be cutthroat here. And I say this from personal experience, but I have owned almost every single little trinket you can think of. I blame it on my wedding registry, but I got really excited and I asked for the strawberry, like the top of the strawberry cutter. I asked for the cool avocado slicer, the onion dicer, the tomato crusher, all these things just added so much clutter into my life. And what I wasn't realizing was that, yes, they're tiny little things, so it doesn't really matter. That mindset just built and built and built inside my entire home. And soon enough, I was just swamped underneath all these little things that I said were just little things, but they were stealing from my life. And I, I say that and I mean it, it's not an exaggeration. You have to nip these things in the bud. You don't need all these special things. Remember when we talked about my knife? This is all you need, my friends. Coming back to the knife, I hope this doesn't scare people if this is like the preview they get in my video. But anyway, this is all you need, I promise. I've been there, it's not worth it. Also the cleaning of those things, miserable. Not, not worth it at all, just clean your knife. All right, under the sink. Make it usable, practical. What you're using day in and day out should be under your sink. Don't stuff it because it can actually become really moldy under here if you're not careful. So keep it simple and practical. I'll show you exactly what I have. We've got all of my paper towels. They don't have any other home in my house except for under the sink. Trash bags. My entire home cleaning collection is right here. Again, you guys know I keep it simple. I have my branch basics. Here's my concentrate. And then I pour this into the all-purpose spray bottle, the shriek-free spray bottle, and the bathroom cleaner. And then I have, this is like a metal sponge. Uh, one thing of wipes, more <laughs> bubbles. Why are my bubbles down here? And that is as simple as I make it. I do have this, these are for my eggs and my milk pickup from my local farmer. And then this always comes in handy when I'm bringing food to someone's house. I just keep this double brown bag. So what to declutter underneath here? I don't really know because I've had a simple under the sink for so long. So if you end up decluttering things under your sink, add it in the comments below so other people can read what actually doesn't need to be in here. Um, I'm thinking old cleaning supplies that you don't need out. Old sponges, old aprons that you haven't worn in years, maybe some like super special scrubby powder. I mean, if it needs to stay, you know best, but this is all I need underneath here. So if you have more than that, I encourage you to get rid of it. Extra spices, get rid of them. I'm just gonna say it up front. They're taking up so much space and that aisle, that spice aisle is so enticing because it makes you think that you can spice up your meals and you can make things taste so different from your normal like ground beef and rice. But 
I encourage you to stray from that, to be okay with making simple meals. I think that's a part of our ancestors and I, I'm bringing that into my house. I have been doing that over the past few years and it's so freeing. Just use the salt, the butter, the fresh herbs and don't fall into the trap that powdered spices are gonna change things for you. Chili, yes. Onion powder when you need it, and guacamole, yes. But excess spices, you don't need them, I promise. Water bottles. <laughs> Honestly guys, my husband was an athlete. He was a professional athlete till he was 27, which meant six years of our life together. He had excess water bottles and shaker bottles until we came across Epic Water Filters. It simplified our water bottle game. We got rid of all the odds and ends, the caps that didn't fit, the water bottles that we thought were really cool but didn't really work well, and we got our Epic Water Filters water bottle. This is the water bottle that they give you. This is the head and the filter actually goes into your water so that you can always have filtered water. We will never be buying any other water bottles because literally this is all you need and it's filtered. So we take it to the airport, to sports games, to the grocery store. You can fill up anywhere and it's always filtered. Just solve the problem. We have three of these in our home. So not a lot of excess. There's intention behind every single one and they get used. Believe me, they get used. Number nine, we're almost there. And this is probably one of my favorite ones because it's original to Margaret and to my channel. I'm not a minimalist who says, have plain, have simple everything. I'm one who says, get rid of the things that are stealing your life from you and bring in the beautiful, add character to your spaces, intentional pieces. So on this point, what I'm saying here is get rid of the appliances on your countertops. They take up space, they don't add beauty, unless you have like a smeg. Those are really cute, but I don't have those. And add beauty and character. So when somebody walks into my home, this is kind of the first area that they see. So I have a plant here, I have some fruit, some wine bottles back there, but I do keep it in the corner because I want it to be out of the way when I'm cooking, you know, and prepping. Over here, you're like one of those ladies on game show. Over there I have my epic water filters which is actually going to be leaving soon because I have an under the sink filter system from epic water filters that I cannot wait to install. It's just going to allow me to have more space there which that's like my main cooking space. There's also this island that you are sitting on right now and simplicity is good but also don't let that take away from the character of you, the homemaker, and the color that can come into your home. I think that's the most warming and peaceful thing you can do in your kitchen. Step one, turn on cold water and proceed to step two. This is gonna be easy. These guys are funny. This is funny. Okay, there are 29 steps. They encouraged me to do it. They told me I can do this. It's not that hard. It'll take 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna do it. And we will have clean, filtered water straight from our faucet. So exciting. Which one's cold? <gasps> Which one's the cold? I don't know. Perk of being simple and minimal in your home. I always know where my tools are. somewhere. They make this pretty easy to be honest. They have pictures and like every single step. This, this is well done. You guys, wow! All my work was done back here. You had to unscrew this stuff, connect that together, connect it to our big filter right here. 
which I'm not attaching to the wall. It's pretty sturdy, but we're hoping to move in the next few months, so I don't want to have any attachments that I need to unscrew or unvelcro, something like that. But look at her in all her glory. This is an exciting day. I decided to do this because not only is this their best seller on their website and I had yet to try it, but it just makes sense. As a family of four, we're going through our dispenser and our pitchers so quickly and the fact that we can just turn the water on and we have clean filtered water without the heavy metals, the pharmaceuticals, and even the viruses that are found in our tap water. This is a very exciting day and I, and I wanted to show you guys how I was doing it to prove that it really was easy. The really kind gentleman that I talked to in their company was telling me how simple it was and I believed him but I also didn't believe my abilities but I shouldn't have done that because it really, they made it very, very easy. So, yeah, you can filter the water. The junk drawer. I am sorry to admit that I have failed on this one. We have a junk drawer that has been a junk drawer for months and everything in my home, I take pride in this, everything in my home has a space and this has just been lazy march. This has been lazy, just throw it in here. My kids bring me something while I'm cooking, throw it in the drawer. So you're gonna watch me declutter this and I'm gonna turn it into something that's practical and actually means something for this kitchen. Junk drawers just add stress. Everything in your home has a specific home. So I'm gonna take some of my own medicine today and fix this issue, okay? Almost done. I'm about to share with you some of the things that you should add into your kitchen to make it so warm and cozy and welcoming, but I gotta do this first. I encourage you to bring in character and beauty. However that looks like for you, do it. But just have the balance of not getting excess and not falling for the holiday trinkets, but bringing in like a, a beautiful tree branch from outside, sticking it in a vase and putting it on your dining room table. Bring the outdoors inside. It will restore the peace in your home and it's already decluttered, so it's just gonna make it even more beautiful. But don't be afraid to add the color and the character in once the excess is gone. Make it intentional. I know you guys are working towards that and I think you should give yourself a pat on the back. This is good stuff and you're creating space for the things that matter in your life. So I hope this video helps you and that you enjoyed it. Share things, share tips, share decor things that you love that are intentional down below and I will see you guys in the next video. I know love is hard.